Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bengal Vision. Today's game, we're gonna have uh, the Indians from Ahurstein College in Canada playing again like this day yesterday against our UMFK Bengals. Let's meet today's starting lineups. For a Hustic Men College, with number 21, Samuel Burke, with number 3, Mikhail Lavec, with number 4, Zacharia Frija, with number 14, Loren Palacio, with number 8, Usama Lager, with number 25, Omar Mas, with number 20, Ismael Alidon. With number 11, Michelot Isidé. With number 5, Robert Beltran. With number 10, Captain Ibrahim Asori. And as a goalkeeper, Simon Savoy Garciso. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your UMFK Bengals starting lineup as a goalkeeper, number one, freshman from Europe, Lancashire, England, Nick Howard, with number two, senior defender. From Saint Gerard, Quebec, Pierre Oliver Lachance. With number four, sophomore forward from Montero Bay, Jamaica, Neon Brown. With number six, freshman forward from Chicago, Illinois, the man of the four goals, Ben Clavers. With number seven, Sophomore, defender from San Angel Argentul, Quebec, the wall, the big guy, Philippe Dion. With number 10, freshman, midfielder, playmaker, the brain of this team, coming from Dallas, Texas, Matthew Dan. With number 11, senior, defender from San André d'Argentur, Quebec, the captain, le capitan, Kevin Dion, with number 12, sophomore, forward, from Edinburgh, Scotland, Ross, Scottish killer, Downey, with number 16, sophomore, midfielder, coming from London, Ontario, Justin Suntian, with number 17, Freshman, midfielder, from Glasgow, Scotland, Jamie Reed. And with number 23, junior, forward, from St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, Kennard Brown. Head coach, Mr. Bill Ashby, assistant coach. Uh, Andrew Arson, Barrington Blake, and Jim Rowe. Athletic trainer Brad Horabird, David Martinez with the stats, and talking for you today, Jorge Matesanz.
today's lineup is going to stand with uh, Nick Howard in the goal. Uh, we're going to have um, Pio uh, and Phil Dion uh, center backs. Uh, Pio is going to play as a stopper and and, um, and Phil is going to do it as a sweeper. It looks like we're going to have Neon as a, a left back and uh, Kevin Dion is going to be a right back. Justin is not playing defender today. He's going to be playing the midfield like he used to last year. Uh, we have, we're going to have uh, Ross Downey, Scottish killer, in the right playing as a wing. Uh, in the middle, as always, Matt Dan and Jamie Reed, and on top, Kenard Brown and my man Ben Clavers scoring four goals yesterday. Amazing, amazing performance by Ben Clavers. Philip Dion touching with his brother Kevin Dion in the right back. Tries to find Ross Downey. We lose the ball. Number 21, Samuel Burke, gets, um, gets fault and that's going to be a, a Hoonstick College ball. Jamie Reed playing with Justin Soutien in the left. That's Matt. Matt Dan using his skills to find P.O. Nice pass. Finding Ben Clavers. He has room. He's got Oosh! cross bar. Oh my god, that was a nice strike by the um, American striker, number six, Ben Clavers. The Bengals still got the ball. Russ Downey playing back to Pierre Oliveira Chance. Neon Brown playing the left. It's the first time I see him playing as a left back. Usually he plays a stopper or in the middle. There you go, Justin Soutien. <laughs> Jamie Reed. Justin. Neon Brown. Ben Clavers gets fouled. <laughs> Jamie Reed is going to set that free kick for the Bengals. Long pass. A little bit too long, trying to fight Matt Dan. The goalkeeper has it. Nice defense by Kennard. Matt Dan finds Ben Clavers. Nice pass. He gets tackled. The ref didn't call it since we still have the ball. Matt Dan trying to get the ball back. And, uh, 
The Indians got the ball, long pass for Burke in the left, in the right, I'm sorry. He got the ball, he has room to run. Philip Dion has to help in defense, and that's going to be a Bengals ball. Kevin Dion playing with Piola Chance. Ross Down is gonna put the ball in the pitch. Nice move, Ross. He's gonna lose it though. The Indians got the ball in the left. Looks like it's gonna be a good game. Pio playing with Ben Clavers. Nice kills. He sees Matt Dan. Good pass. Finding Justin Sutia in the left. He's going to cross it. Long. Finding Kennard. Indians got the ball. <laughs> Kenna Brown playing with Matt Dan. He gets tackled. The ref is going to call it. He always gets tackled. I mean, really talented player in the midfield. He's the brain of the team, and they know he cannot touch the ball. He just came here earlier. He told me um, his family is watching the game from Texas. Shout out to to uh, Matt's family. I'm sure they're enjoying these games. He's been playing good. He was a little bit tired today. I mean, four games in a row for all these players. Oof, that's pretty tough. It's a good condition for a preseason. Tomorrow they'll have a rest and uh, they'll come back the day after for another game. Kevin Dion cleaned that ball out. Philip Dion, clean the ball out. Good pressure there, the Bengals putting some pressure. Kevin Dion, touching the ball to Ross Downey. Long ball, and that's um, that's gonna be a throw for the Indians. Bengals defense cleaning the ball out and throwing it to the woods. Uh, woods in Maine are pretty, pretty, pretty crowded of trees. You cannot find the ball. Matt Dan helping defense. And Philip Dion cleaning the ball out. Nice strike a, a little bit far away of uh, Nick Howard's goal, the English goalkeeper. Coach Ashby has a um, problem in the goal. It's, it's a good problem, though. A like, great. Uh, I mean, a lot of teams would like to have that problem. It's like he has two great goalkeepers fighting for that starting spot: Nick Howard from uh, England and Jamie Cleland from Scot from Scotland. Both of them are great goalkeepers. Uh, they've been showing it these past games. 
and I mean you never know who who's who's gonna play. They'll probably um, share minutes. Uh, Kinnar Brown has the ball in the right. There's gonna be a three and two. He crosses it, and uh, the Indians' defense were fast there to clean that out. They have in the middle now. Good job, Nick Howard. Ben Clavers with the ball. That move almost worked, but uh, it didn't, just for a little bit. Justin Sutian has the ball back. He finds Neon. Neon, long pass, trying to find Kennard. It wasn't good. Kevin Dion cleans the ball out. Number 25, Omar Mas with the ball. Matt Dan doing good defensive job. Kenner Brown trying to control that. He gets it. Long pass trying to find Ben Clavers. He has room to think and create something. Let's see what he does. Ah, good defense there by number four, Zakaria Frija. It's going to be a free kick for a Hulstead College. Justin Sutian putting some pressure there. Hunstead College playing the ball in the middle. Number 25, Mass. They're going to swing it over to the other side. Number 5 with the ball. Moves back. Long pass, and Nick Howard has it. Going to try to send um, fast offense. Now he decides to slow the game down. 30 minutes left for halftime. 31 minutes left for halftime. Are the score is still 0-0. Zero, zero. Long pass, but Philip Dion is smart there and he's going to clean it out. He sees his brother, Kevin Dion, the captain, playing the right. Trying to find Ross Downey. Nice kills. Scottish killer. Touch back to Phil Dion. Phil plays with Matt Dan. This is Neon Brown. Kevin Dion.
that's, on a, and that's, a, that's an offside and that will be a Bengal ball. Philip Dion tried to set it quick. Ross Downey. We have room to run. Matt, Matt Dunn running. He's in the middle. Kenard Brown gets fall. The ref didn't call it. Corner kick. Oh, <laughs> Almost a score there, the Indians. There's going to be another corner kick. Number 25, Mass, playing the ball. Kenna Brown helping defense. Number 21, Virgo with the ball. Talented player, somewhere Burke. Canadian player. And Beth Clavers has room to run. He's fast. Ah, he's gonna lose it there with the last player. That was the last one, then the goalkeeper. Justin Sutian gets the ball back. He's gonna play with Neon Brown. Neon playing in the middle with Pio, La Chance. He gets tackled. Pio. Neon Brown. Matt Dan. Matthew Dan, long pass trying to find Ben Clavers. A little bit long, and that's going to be an offside. Good job in defense, Justin Sutian, being tough. Nice job, Justin. P.O. clean the ball out. That's going to be an Indian's ball, number five. Number 25, crossing that ball. That's going to be an offside. <laughs> Kevin Dion with the ball. Plays with his brother Phil Dion. Matthew Dan. Plays in the middle with Pio. Kevin. Neon playing with Matt again. Matthew Dan. 
She finds Justin. Good pass, Justin, finding Ben Clavers. He has to go back to Matt again. Tries to find um, Kenard Brown. Ball gets cleaned out. The Bengals got the ball again. Philip Dion. Justin Sutian gets the ball back, but the ref calls push there. And that's going to be an Indian's ball. We got the ball back. Justin Sutian showing his skills there. He gets fault. Now the ref calls it. Matt Dan. Finding Justin Sutian. Good cross to Kennard. Matt has it. He's gonna play back to Neon Brown. Neon with Kevin. Kevin, long pass, trying to find Kennard. Kennard Brown with the ball. He gets fouled, and that's gonna be a penalty kick, I believe. Yes, it is. Penalty kick for Bengals. Kenner Brown went to a floor inside the area. Ben Clavers is going to try to score here in this PK. There he goes, number six, Ben Clavers. Goal! Goal, go, 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 Ben Clavers, striker from Chicago, Illinois. He scored four goals yesterday. For now, he has one. 23 minutes left for halftime. Great strike, Ben. I always like to hear um, all UMFK players and uh, alumni alumni players uh, from then uh, that they're watching the game. And we have Jamie Lee Daigle and Lisa Field watching the game. I'm sure this, we have a lot of um, old players watching us here. It looks like there's nobody watching. I mean, I'm just here and talking by myself. And uh, I mean, I don't really know who's watching, but they, I always get text messages and calls. Looks like a lot of people watch us, so that's good, I guess. Number 17 with the ball on the right, Philip Dion. The wall from Montreal stops that. You don't want to mess with him. He's huge. Cleans everything out of that area. Playing great games this preseason. It's um, his first season as a starter, as a sweeper. And he's doing a great job following the steps of his brother, the captain Kevin Dion. Number 14 for Indians. Tries long cross. That's going to be a Nick Howard's ball. Goalkeeper from Lanchester, England.
Ross Downey, dribbling players. One, two, three. Tries to find Ben Clavers, but the pass was a little bit long. Good pressure there by Bengals. Jamie Reed. Philippe Dion cleaning the ball once again. Best looking sports sideline reporter here, Eric Werken. Jorge, uh, Ben Kluver's picking up his fifth goal here in about uh, the last 12 hours, it seems. He's been playing good uh, the first half for now. Had a, a great chance early in the game, and that PK. Nice to see the jersey numbers back on today by the Bengals. Sporting their uh, road greens today. That's what happens when Mama is not there to the laundry. <laughs> uh, use the t-shirt. I was told they had too many players, not enough numbers yesterday, but must be a couple guys out today with injury. Jamie Reed playing the right with Ross Downey. There we go, Ross. He's going to cross it. Long cross is good. Justin Soutien touches for Kenner Brown. He's going to try to strike that. There he goes. And that's going to be uh, way off. Nick Howard getting his first start of the preseason today, Jorge. Yeah, he's been playing uh, all second halves, uh, doing a good job. Uh, but as, as I was saying, uh, Coach Ashby has a great problem with these two goalkeepers. Both of them have been playing great. They're good. Um, for now, Nick is playing. Um, and well, I mean, I, uh, I, I'm sure a lot of coaches would like to have that problem with such uh, talented players. I would agree. Two freshmen, so they're going to battle, I'm sure, throughout the season. Want to make sure we say hello to uh, Matt Dunn's contingent, Dallas, Texas. Yeah, I read it. Send us some steaks, huh? Justin Soutier with the ball, he has a good chance there, goal! <laughs> Justin Soutier! Numero 6, number 16 from London, Ontario. The left wing. <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Justin, his first goal this season. Last year's Rookie of the Year. Oh, he had a great season last year. Such an amazing player in the left. He's been playing a lot of that back position, Jorge, but he gets up into the action there. Oh, definitely. Today he's playing left wing. Uh, he's been playing uh, left back these past games. Um, now Coach uh, Ashby decided to put Neon as a starter in the left back, and Justin is playing uh, in the left wing. And Well, he just scored the second goal for Bengals. And... Uh, Kyle Robin came into a pitch with the number 14 uh, in the right wing. So Rose Downey could take a little break and he's going to a bench. Kyle has been playing good too, this freshman from Scotland. Great winger. Bengals got down 3 0 yesterday, but they've turned the tables here in this match. Two goals, still 18 and change left in the first, Jorge. Jorge. It's definitely Jorge. a different. <laughs> Jorge, you still there? Yeah, oh, there he is. It's definitely a different game that uh, we've been watching yesterday. Um, we scored uh, five goals in three minutes. I mean, I'm sorry, three goals in five minutes to tie that. Um, Game in the in the in the halftime, um, the Indians came uh, a little bit more aggressive than we've seen them today. But I mean, definitely the Bengals are playing a better game in this first half that they did yesterday. Lady Bengals today, in case you missed it, losing one nil, a much much better effort today against a very powerful team uh, 
Ahunsik, defending CCAA, Canadian National Champs. So uh, Coach Levesque, I'm sure, is pleased. Both teams back in action here Saturday, August 31st, when they entertain Vermont Technical College, a USCAA school playing in the Yankee Conference. Plays Vermont. Great place, Vermont. One of the best states around, if not the best. Maine's, Maine's making a good run at it, though. Set piece here for a Hunsick. We just got told um, the Scottish Killers mom, Carol Downey, is watching the game. Uh, I'm going to say hi to her. Um, Rose Downey has been playing good. He's, he's a good friend. So we know we have people watching this game from uh, all the way to Scotland. I know there's people in Spain watching. I know that for sure. Uh, people in Texas, people in California, Maine, Canada. Vermont. All over the place. So hello, Carol. That comes right from Michelle Boulier. She wanted to make sure that uh, you heard from us. Ross having a great, great preseason. Nice tackle there, Ben Clovers. Matt Dan playing with Kenna Brown. He faults um, the Indian defender. He's struggling to get up. Yeah, if Kenna falls me, I'll probably struggle to get up too. He's huge. I would not want to mess with him. If I see him in the street, I'll run away. Num we're in the number 23 today. We, we may have to make sure and see if he's not LeBron James and still. Kennard Brown there. Kennard is fourth jersey in four days, if you can believe it. As they shuffle the numbers. And yeah, check us out, uh, Jorge. Check us out, my friend, as you have on Facebook, UMFK Bengals, and on Twitter, at UMFK Bengals. Hashtag Jorge's the best. That's what they say. But we we just trying here to do our job. Um, we have the Indian player still on the floor. Seems a little bit injured. Kamika Forbes with 75 saves in game one. It's Coach Levac walking by here. Try and grab him for an interview. He looks busy as usual. I did see the shots. It was 34 to 9 in uh, a Hunsik's favor. So you do the math as Kamika certainly came up big today. Player still down here. As the uh, Hunsik athletic therapist and uh, UMFK training staff out there taking a look. I know. We'd love to hear some feedback out there. Shoot me an email. W-E-R-N-T-G-E-N at Maine. That's M-A-I-N-E dot E-D-U. Let us know how we, how we sound. We're going to bring in Coach Levesque. Coach Levesque, while we wait Entering here. his 10th year, if you can believe it. <laughs> Coach Levesque, um, how you saw a game today? Uh, we well, certainly played a lot better than uh, than what we did yesterday in terms of uh, our defensive uh, positioning and and uh, making sure we're tracking runners. You know, we gave up seven goals yesterday, and uh, you know, obviously, you know, holding them to, to a very talented team like that down to one was a was a big step forward for us. Yeah, even though your central back Haley Fisher got injured yesterday, uh, the defense did a great job today. Um, how you see the 
uh, the next game. Uh, do you like the team? Compared with uh, last year, you have a lot of new players. Uh, I, I believe it's 12. Uh, yeah. What's your feeling? Yeah, no, I, uh, our freshmen stepped up and did a great job. Um, you know, losing Heidi today and not having Catherine, obviously, when anytime you, you know, don't have a kid against a team like uh, Hunsick, uh, who scored 30, you know, Heidi, uh, Catherine scored 34 goals for us last year. So uh, playing without Catherine for a couple of games uh, was, was a little rough up front. Defensively, not having Heidi today hurt us a little bit, but uh, certainly Kayla stepped up, uh, played a kind of a new position for her. Um, but again, everybody stepped up defensively. We did a great job. We worked hard and, uh, you know, held a very, very good team down to one. So, Coach Levesque, uh, we're back to action here, folks. Uh, if you could give us a sense, uh, certainly the fans out there, when we might see Furland back in action, uh, are you are you targeting her for uh, the 31st against Vermont Tech, or is she? Yeah, uh, she sh yeah she should be back. Uh, she, just a uh, knee sprain right now is is kind of the diagnosis here. Uh, you know, there's really no swelling right now. Everything everything's looking pretty good. Still a little sore, but. Uh, we expect her to be back um, to, to make a guest appearance against Vermont Tech and, and certainly against a, a team like Holland on Sunday. Great. Thanks, Coach. Great effort today, and uh, best of luck here uh, as we get ready for the opener. Thank you. Thank you very much. Didn't see. Uh, we'll have to get a, a, uh, some sort of report here, Jorge, but uh, looks like the player was able to walk off on, on his own for a Hunsick, now being uh, treated on the sidelines. Hopefully he'll get better soon. And the game is on. 14 minutes left. The score is 2-0 uh, for the Bengals. Defense really tighten, tightening up today. They must have been called out, I would assume, after that three-goal barrage oh, by uh, yeah. Hunsick yesterday. And after playing uh, four they games in a row, um, defense needs to get back a little bit all together. Uh, Coach we don't want space in the middle. Everybody tight. And uh, for now they're doing a good job. Philip Dion leading that defense. He got the ball now. You can see out trying to find Ben Clavers. Touch back to Justin Soutien. Scores second goal today. Neon Brown. Back to Justin. Justin has room to think. Plays back to Philip Dion. 6 2 sweeper for Santa Dre d'Argentuil, Quebec. Pierre Oliver Lachance. He gets fouled. The ref didn't call it. And that's going to be an Indian's ball in the left. The strike from far away goes uh, above the Nick Howard's goal. We're going to have subs here. Um, number five, Germain Francois, Caribbean player from IT. Great player. Uh, one of the uh, Bengals' only regular season loss last year came at the hands of Mr. Germain and his Bryant Stratton squad out of Syracuse, New York, where Germain has been for the last two seasons. He is a native of Haiti, as Jorge mentioned. He's going to study nursing here, so he is one intelligent individual. Very intelligent. He speaks five languages. Um, no other way I can say that, definitely. I speak one language. I'm, I'm working on another five. I would say half language with a Bermuda accent is pretty hard to understand. <laughs> so much of the possession here has been in the Bengals' favor as they try and lock in here on a Hunsik. Sutens misplays and that one ran off, off the touchline. been a busy training room here, Jorge, with four games in four days, but it's what you like in the preseason. Definitely. Um, it's a hard, hard work for um, our trainer, Bradley Hollabeard. 
got engaged recently, by the way. Congratulations to him and uh, his fiance, Amy Daigle. Hey, how about a shout out to Oniki Sneaky Samuels and Keith Tree Trunk Williams? Just got a text here, tuning in from Union College in Kentucky. How you doing, fellas? Rasta and Mr. Oniki watching the game. Certainly miss those two gentlemen. Working on their master's degrees. They're going to be doctors, I think, pretty soon. Keep it going, gentlemen. Nice to hear from you. Matthew Dunn doing a great job in defense, playing with Justin Sutian. Germain playing with Ben Clavers. Touch back to Matthew Dunn in the middle. They're really working Sutian's up that wing, Jorge, and he's causing all kinds of havoc. And now some sort of random push called, but he is uh, he's in the middle of everything here. They really like this wing. Oh, definitely. Justin is just a threat. Um, in the left wing, he's uh, always been his past year. He's small, he's quick, and it's pretty, pretty, pretty hard to, to, to defend. German being tough in defense. Ball goes out. German Francois, the only player in this team that can understand every language. Ben Clavers gets fault. That's what happens, folks, when you score five goals in ten, ten minutes. You're going to get some attention. Kluvers. A foul, but not card worthy, Jorge, as he was taken down. That's going to be a free kick for Bengals. Jamie Reed is going to be the one in charge to. Put the ball near the goal. Justin Sutian crossing that low. Blaine Clavers, nice strike. Gets rejected. Matthew Dan killing a couple birds. Aww. Watch out there in Texas. That ball might be going that way. Matthew Dan. Unlucky strike, and uh, we get back to defense. The Indians playing the left. Long strike. He got jealous of Matt and uh, he kicked both that teams, to the woods. Uh, excuse me, Jorge. Both teams seeming to uh, s to be settling a bit for that that uh, shot from. 35 and out, maybe an extra play, you know, to the flag, get a cross on goal. We got a sub here, um, number 20, Daniel Blackwood coming to pitch for number two, P.O. Lachance. Ben Clures with the ball, Jamie Reed, Justin has room to run, he got it. He can use both legs, let's see what he does. Long pass, trying to find Jamie in the middle, didn't work out. The ref was in the helping us a little bit. We got the ball back. Kevin Dion. Long pass for Ben Clovers. Playing with Matthew Dunn. Great skills, Matthew. Playing with Kyle Robin. Kenner Brown. Unlucky bounce and uh, that's gonna be a Indian's ball.
That's what we call dead air, Jorge. That was a full two minutes of you uh, sleeping over there. Lucky, lucky for you, I'm here. Sun out here now. Back and forth today, but sun seems to be shining bright now. Yeah, definitely. Jermaine seems to be moving better today too, Jorge. I know he uh, he's been out a lot here in the preseason. He's been uh, having problems with his leg, uh, his left knee. Um, he seems he seems good now. I know he was selected to play and have minutes. I'm sure Coach Ashby appreciates that. Blackwood as well has been in and, in and out here, nursing an injury. That one will run out. Matthew Dan. <laughs> Jamie Reed. Philip Dion helping defense. Jamie Reed, good job in trying to get that ball. The Indians touching the ball in the middle. Kenner Brown has it back with Ben Clavers. Number 10 with the ball. Audrey Legat. Three minutes here left in the first, the sixth preseason game in four days here. Men playing their fourth, ladies played back to back. That's a lot of soccer. I don't care if you are from Spain or not, it's a lot of soccer. We love it. We don't mind it, I'm sure. People watching us don't mind it either. It's a great condition for a preseason. Certainly. Nick Hauer putting that ball fine in the air for Kent. Couldn't find Matt Dan. Ball gets back to Daniel Blackwood, long pass, trying to find Justin Soutien. Kenna Brown puts no pressure. And that ball is going to go out. I got it. Jimmy Reed. Justin Soutien. Nice move, nice skills. Justin, he gets pushed. The ref is not going to call it. That's a fault, and it's going to be an Indian's ball. Kenner Brown. Getting chippy out here. Both teams going hard. Some hard tackles. Last minute. Yeah, we dip under one. Long ball for Justin Soutien. He has room. He gets fault. Push, no call. I think the ref forgot his, um, his staff at home. That's why he's not calling fault.
But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We got a half time here. The score is 2 0 for our Bengals. Um, it's been a good half. Uh, these two goals, uh, Ben Clovers and Justin Soutien. Um, I mean, it's definitely a better half than we saw last um, yesterday in the last game. Uh, we're going to go for a break, 10 minutes, and we'll be right back.
And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, for this second half of the game here in Fort Kent, Maine. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have uh, the Scottish goalkeeper in the goal for this second half, Jamie Cleland. Uh, the defense is gonna stay the same as uh, they started. Um, Jamie Cle, don't call me Cleveland. It's Cleveland, okay, Jorge. All right, my bad, my bad. Cleveland is. I'm still learning English. Where they want LeBron James back. We have a uh, Philip Dion and uh, Piola Chance in the middle. Uh, Neon Brown as a uh, left back. Kevin Dion as a uh, right back. The midfield will be uh, uh, Matt Dunn and Jamie Reed. Ross Downey in the right. We're going to have Justin in the left and the two strikers, Kenna Brown and Ben Clovers. Uh, as far as we know, a Hunsik, uh, no major changes, Jorge. They did switch some jersey numbers today, so we uh, we apologize. We do not know them as well as our Bengals. A Hunsik from Montreal, Canada. One of the best cities I've been to. And I'm not kidding, what a great place Montreal is. We got some games there this season that we're looking forward to. Looking for a, yes, we'll get it. So we will have, now Jamie Cleland did stop one of these on day one against Carlton, point blank. That's and he'll certainly get another chance right now, folks, as he gets organized. Well, that's going to be a... A Hunsik will call on if I can get a jersey number here. I cannot quite see it yet. Jamie Cleland ready for a PK. Big goalkeeper from Scotland. There you go. And 13. Uh, that's a goal. So punched home. Converted nicely by Claudio Marasco. Excuse my French. Marasco. Bless you. 2 1 as a Hunsick cuts the Bengal lead in half on the PK. I do not. Uh, I didn't get a great look on the foul in the box, Jorge, but you got to be careful in there with your tackles, and the Indians uh, made them pay. Those PKs are like layups in basketball. You better finish those, my friends. And, uh, and, and uh, a Hunsik did make them pay. Do you know something about basketball? I know a little bit, Jorge. Why don't you sit on the bench with me during the season and I'll teach you some stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the Bengals, let's see if that gets them going, Jorge. They may be, uh, I'm sure they're not content here with a one-goal lead. P.O. Uh, for the Bengals, number two. One of the, th let's see here, two, three, four seniors that I count on the roster this season. So Coach Ashby has had a nice rotation here of uh, senior classmen. We just heard from two, Oniki Sneaky Samuels and Keith Williams, the 18th. <laughs> the second, Keith, the second, I know. Bengals are in one there. That's Jamie Reed from Glasgow, Scotland. Talented midfielder. Part of the Scottish force here. And he'll speak with uh, he'll speak with PO here as he gets some some leadership, some direction from the senior. And we'll see here what Reed does with this. Look for Kluvers on the back. It looks like Dunn is in there. Brown and then his countryman Downey over here on the near side in case. There Keeper. And they're going to look for, look like Dunn and, 
the chance, but turned away by the Indians. Once again, Jorge, that's an example of dead air. Dan, Dan Woosh! Oh. Amazing strike by Matt Dan. If he had that uh, Adidas World Cup ball there from last uh, World Cup, that might have went in. Yeah, I'm just giving a heads up. I have a bet going on with Matt. If he scores, he's going to come here to survey with me. So you might hear the mic drop. Just to clarify, that was bet. And it's, I'm sure it's a friendly one because... Uh, it is a violation, a Spanish violation. <laughs> Friendly bet with Mr. Dunn. He wants to give those fans back in Texas uh, a goal, and he was pretty close there. Now look out here as the Indians counter. Nice tackle by yeah. Neon Brown. Neon Dion Brown on the scene with those bright neon cleats. Quick shout out to the man behind the scenes, Steve Michaud, our web developer in the booth today, alongside the camera operator, Kate. They've been here all week with us and doing a fine job. And we'd like to thank uh, Quigley's Building Supply for the facelift on our booth over here. Cleveland now. I'm sure these keepers are tested on a regular basis in practice. With all this firepower on the Bengal side. Rolls down in the right. He has room. He crosses it. Trying to find Ben Clovers. A little bit short. Matt Dan still has the ball in the middle. Talented player. Pass the ball to Ross. Ross can cross it. That's going to try. That's going to be a corner kick for Bengal. Yes, deflection, Jorge. And it looks like uh, Reed will take it. He's on it. Yeah, now that we don't have a... Uh, Jared Phillips, it looks like um, Jamie Reed is the one in charge to take the corner kicks and free kicks. What are we looking for in this corner uh, as they shuffle around in the box and put the height on the backside, looks like. Here it comes. And there it goes, folks. But Kluvers. And Kluvers, nice strike. Juicy rebound popped out. Well done by the netminder there for the uh, Indians. Phil now across to his brother Kevin. They've worked well here this week together. Ross. Now, I don't know if uh, is Matias not playing today, Jorge? Is that the the news from the Bengal side, or um, not seen him on on the pitch today? Yeah, uh, he was a little. Um, they might not, not, not really injured, but um, I mean, after these games, uh, he had uh, right, some right. problems, physical problems. and uh, They may have sat him for speaking too much Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Questionable play there, but they play on. Rose Downey helping in defense. Dunn may get the uh, Dunn may get the tide award of the week here for most grass stains. As he has seen a lot of this alumni memorial field here this week. Well played once again there by the Rock back there, Phil Dion. Would you call him the Montreal Wall? Montreal Wall. I like that. I like that. He certainly has uh, been a force. That's going to be a Bengals ball inside. You're watching live Bengal Vision brought to you by the University of Maine at Fort Kent. Today's matchup, a Hunsick College visiting out of Montreal taking on your UMFK Bengals. 
Questions, comments, concerns, email W E R N T G E N at Maine dot edu. That's the state of Maine, so throw an E on the end of that and you're you're good to go. Madan gets fault. There's gonna be a freaky for Bengals. Perhaps another chance here, Jorge. I don't know if they're scoring range or they are gonna take their time here a little bit. Jamie Reed's gonna try to put that near the goal. Um, we have tall players to try to um, head that to the goal. Spread out pretty well and now uh, Lachance gonna come into the mix. Perhaps a, too, a little bit too low there by Reed, but gets rejected. The goalkeeper has it. 35 minutes left for the end of the game. The score is 2-1 for UMFK Bengals. Two thousand thirteen season is upon us. Bengals uh, lost in the final four of the national championship last season on a double overtime goal by eventual champ Briar Cliff out of Long Island, New York. So they will be back this year to try and defend their title, but I think the Bengals and a handful of other teams will have something to say about that. Lady Bengals losing in the title game to Damon College. Watch Kenner Brown. Nice pass to Rose Downey. Ben Clavers, goal! Goal! That's a goal! Second one. Big Benjamin strikes again, Jorge, and he's on the doorstep, but. Big Ben! He Big Ben Clavers! Certainly could have walked that in after Downey made things tough on uh, the Hunsuk keeper. 3-1. I don't know if we need to tell Kluvers to send, save some for the regular season, but uh, he's had quite a stretch here the last two contests. And uh, Willie Month is coming into the game for Bengals. Did Kluvers score uh, against Carlton, uh, Jorge? Do you recall? He did, certainly. First game he did, okay, so he is now... Uh, Four yesterday, two today. He's now scored his seventh goal here the preseason. Sixth. My math is uh, could be incorrect, but either way, he has certainly scored a lot. And um, we got a visitor here in the booth. Uh, Storm. Storm is visiting the booth. Michelle's dog or Michelle's, Michelle's bear. Bo Michelle Boulier's dog or uh, bear, yes. He's a big guy. Reed not happy with that play. He'd probably take that booth down. Yeah, we have a storm here coming to us uh, and messing with the courts. We needed uh, five people and a couple of firefighters to move him. 3-1, Jorge. Hopefully the Bengals don't get too comfortable here as a Hunsik. Now will, I'm sure, turn uh, even more offensive-minded if possible. Played back nicely through Cleveland. He's got a he's got a nice foot, Jorge, as he delivers he's out of danger. Madan playing in the middle with Jamie Reed, number 17. Jamie gets fouled. The ref calls it. The ref was in the middle. We don't really know what he just called now. That's going to be a Bengals ball, apparently. <laughs> Willie came into the game for um, Kenar Brown, so he's going to play. He's going to be playing as a striker like he used to last year. He's been playing um, in the midcourt for past games. This talented player from Montreal, really talented, skilled, and also really funny. 
Our neighbors to the north have been uh, nice here as starting to get more and more talent out of Canada. <laughs> the Dion brothers, uh, La Chance, Soutiens. Don't forget Sebastian Arsenault injured, not yep. playing this precision. Seb uh, Arsenault is out, uh, but uh, the Bengal staff uh, hoping he, he will be back here uh, soon. So, uh, merci beaucoup, Canada, for these uh, these great players. Is that your French? That's my French. Je ne parle pas français. Uh, Hunsick now, number four, gets in here. Uh, and what about Mr. Brown in the back, uh, Jorge? Seems like he's done a nice job today. It's the first Leon. time he starts, and uh, he's definitely been doing a good job. Uh, playing as a left back. Um. Smart, solid player. And here's our boy, Willie Monty. Willie. Playing with Ben Clavers. <laughs> Certainly is nice to see him again, as he created some some problems in that run, uh, especially against Carlton on the game winner. Willie w had a big part of that. Definitely, he's uh, he's such a talented player. Uh, he's have a lot of um, injury problems, and uh, that doesn't allow him to play as much as coach as we would w would want him to play. But he's a leader in the team. Uh, he'll be a senior next year. Who knows, maybe a captain. Um, for now, he's helping the team as much as he can. Facebook post here from Lee Davis, father of Ashley Davis. Rubbing it in a little bit. He's on the beach today. He wants to give a shout out to his son. So, hello, Lee, and uh, thanks for taking it in. I apologize. It's actually out in the desert in Saudi Arabia is where his dad is. And his mom, Michelle... Is also watching the webcast today from South Africa. So hello to the Davis family. Pleasure to have your wonderful son a part of our program. Actually played a great game yesterday in the right wing. And hopefully we'll see him last this last 30 minutes. It's been hot here, but I'm sure not as hot as uh, Saudi Arabia. And today is a beautiful day here, 70 degrees, nice breeze. But so nice to hear from folks around the world that uh, you are getting our Bengal Vision broadcast, and we cannot thank you enough for your support. Ross Downey trying to find uh, Big Ben. Jamie Reed helping defense. Ashley Davis, um, I do not believe he's out there now, but number 15, he is a sophomore mid from Johannesburg, South Africa. A Hunsick on a quick restart. And trying to get anything here past this vastly improved Bengal defense, and I don't want to jinx it on a header. Yes, I did. Nothing uh, Cleveland could do there. Simply a beautiful cross and then goal. And then a wrestling match here to get the ball back. That's going to be 3-2 for Bengals. 28 minutes left. A Hunsick not going away, Jorge, as they... Uh, have battled back and once again get within one goal. We'll see how the Bengals respond. I did not get the score. We'll wait for Nico. We have a sub here. Get um, the mic. Big Ben Clavers going to a bench and Kenner Brown coming to a pitch. Kenner won't be playing striker now. Uh, he's coming to a pitch as a right wing. And um, it looks like Ross Downey and Willie Month are going to be playing strikers. Uh, and this 4-4-2. Uh, Matthew Dan touching the ball in the middle. I don't think Colts is going to get it back.
And now look out here, a hard foul by the Bengals, and that'll result in a quick restart by the Indians of Montreal, Canada, Hunsick College. Members of the Canadian Collegiate Athletic Association, the CCAA. Their coach telling me their players typically are there for about two and a half years um, before going on to a four-year university or right into the workforce. But they have shown some great fight here. Definitely, it's a great team, both girls and guys. Brown now into your living room here as he got taken off the ball though nicely and then clipped as a referee was turned aside, but. Whoa, well, that hurts. And still down. It's getting a little bit cold here, right? Number 23, Hanny Chicky. And looks like he, oh no, I'm sorry, that wasn't 23. 14, I apologize, 14. He's up now, Laurent Pal Palicio Terrier. Palacio, that's the Spanish. Palacio. Good, 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 that's good. Terrier. And quickly played, but right to La Chance. Rose Downey putting some pressure. Fans very reserved today, Jorge, as the, the Bengals got up 3 nothing in uh, working on their tans and whatnot. But this is still a one goal game, folks, and Bengals certainly not out of danger yet. Rose Downey with the ball in the left, plays with Matthew Dunn. He gets fault. Once again, but seems like both benches uh, getting frustrated with the calls. But that seemed to be, although we don't have the best angle, it did seem to be like Dunn was tripped up. Ross Downey dribbles one player, dribbles another one. He gets fault, and there's going to be a Bengals ball. Three quarters of the pitch. Uh, Jamie Reed puts it in game, playing with Matthew Dunn. Long pass, finding. Justin Sutian, he gets the ball. He slips, and that's going to be a goal kick for Indians. Really, the uh, the head referee has done a nice job. I mean, he's uh, he's let them play some, and now, I mean, if a guy's getting his jersey taken off, you you simply need to call that. As Downey was grabbed three or four times. Philip Dion doing some good work in defense. Once again, Neon Brown trying to find Ross Downey. He got it. Playing to the right to Kennard Brown. Kennard. Jamie Reed. Back to Pio. Pio, long ball. Trying to find Justin Sutian. He's not going to get it. That's going to be a throw for Bengals. Check us out online. Real simple, umfk.edu. Campus of about 1,300 up here in northern Maine on the Canadian border. Thanks for joining us today. There's that Montreal wall again, Jorge. The Montreal wall. There is the wall of China and there is the wall of Montreal. You can see both from known the space. Known as Phil Dion. You can see Phil. You can see Phil via satellite. Here's a dangerous one. We'll check the speed of the Bengal defense. Kevin Dion. Cleland going to be smart to just punch it out, and he does. And lucky to just get a throw there. Better to ear on the side of caution. Looked like Kevin perhaps was trying to play that off his thigh. I don't know if the keeper can pick it up with his hands. I do know uh, on a header he can, right? 
This one's into the booth here. Look out, folks. Thank you, David. David, our stats manager. David Martinez, Espanol. <laughs> Ross, Ross Downey, Endin Bra, Scottish Scotland. killer in the right. Finished strong last season and has picked up where he left off here in his second year. Great step there by Dunn to gain possession. And there, Reed, well done. And now, Monty. Oh. Willie looks good too, Jorge. He had a, he had a uh, I don't know if he broke his leg or he had a major injury last year that, that set him back for most of the season. He's had a lot of minor injuries and uh, all together he's um, right. up his game a little bit. But I believe last year was a, uh, a fractured bone, and wasn't it, in his leg? Or There's a ball in the box. Yeah, I believe he had some sort of uh, injury in his leg. Uh, right. He's probably st still carrying it. From Metz, France, by way of Montreal, Willy Monte. A hunt sick with some substitutions. If we could, Jorge, right, let's review the scoring. Bengals got up 2 0. Goals um, Justin Soutien and Ben Clovers. Clovers, uh, Clovers, Clovers, I believe it's Clovers on a PK. Asking. And Soutien's on a nice uh, crafty play in front of the net. Uh, Hunsik did answer that to make it 2 1. Hold on, we have a good chance here. Matthew down with the ball. Talented player, pass the ball. Finding Willie. Willie, he gets fault. Clover scored his second goal of the game uh, to make it 3 1. And then a Hunsik has answered to make it 3 2. And now, who is this down here? I believe it's. It's Willie Frey. Willie Month. Before, I don't know if it's before mentioned, Month is down. And um, it looks like that perhaps is top, top of the box, Jorge. Top of the box is a dangerous kick. Free kick for Bengals. Everybody wants the ball. I want it too. If you do have a uh, Apple device, a uh, iPhone, iPad, you can view this game on that device. And we are in the works to get that uh, available on your Androids as well. It looks like it's going to be Jamie Reed. Dunn trying to get ball. into the wall, and there's now pushing going on. And this one is in a Rose dangerous Downey. spot for a Hunsick and Downey. Unlucky, unlucky. Downey with a great effort there, but didn't dip like he wanted it to, perhaps. 20 minutes left. Bengals looking for that insurance goal, Jorge, because one goal cushion is, I'm sure, not enough here to keep the Bengal faithful uh, comfortable. Indeed, it is, and uh, this team is show that there are Dangerous every time they get close to a goal. Um, we need that insurance goal. Kenna Brown with the ball in the middle. Place. Try to find Justin Soutien. The pass was a little bit too long. The idea was good, but the pass wasn't as good. And uh, who's the call is going to play the ball? Neon Brown. The ball back to the Bengals. Neon Brown playing with Justin Soutian. Oh, yeah. Ahunstead College trying to find that goal to tie the game. Great job in defense, Kevin Dion. It's getting a little windy here. Really cold for me. Doesn't have to do nothing with the Spain weather. 
A Hunsick earning a, oh, I'm sorry, it's a throw. Once again, the next broadcast, Bengal Vision. August 31st, Vermont Tech for the season opener. Women will play at 1, followed by the men at 3 p.m. If you are in town or planning to come to town, all kinds of festivities, folks. We got water sports here at the uh, on the fields, giveaways, prizes, barbecues, dances, Benny the Bengal, yoga, rhythmic, uh, gymnastic dancers. I mean, we got it all. So please come out. If you can't make it, you can watch it on Bengal Vision. Looks like a pretty good weekend here in Fort Kent. I know flights aren't cheap from Saudi Arabia, so Bengal Vision is an option. That's going to be a Bengals ball. Willie Month playing with uh, Ross Downey. Bengals got some, uh, some players up and uh, warming up as well. I don't know if we're going to see... Some other players late here. Justin playing back to Neon. Quick to Matt. Neon. Long touch. They didn't understand each other. And that's going to be an Indian's ball. Indians playing the right. The ball goes um, to the side. And the Bengals will have it back. Always seems the clock goes a little slow when you're up one. And it goes fast if you're down one. Just the nature of the beast here. But going slow for us right now. Up one, 15, 20, and ticking. The Indians playing the left. Number 23, he got room. He's going to cross it. Trying to face Kevin Dion, the Bengals captain. There is no stoppage time, per se, Jorge, here under NCAA rules, which we are playing. If there is an injury, or a, it'll be uh, per the referee in the middle's uh, discretion. So he will either stop the clock, or if not, it just keeps running. Two 45-minute halves. And we're in exhibition season, so we will not be playing overtime. Bengals tying uh, the first two matches of the week, 2-2. Versus Carlton on Tuesday. I, I mean, I'm sorry, Wednesday. Ross Downey, sco I'm sorry, Glenn DeFritz scoring with just six seconds left in a thriller. Yesterday, six to four. Uh, game called, 10 minutes left due to darkness. And it brings us to today where the Bengals up 3 2. Lady Bengals uh, losing to a Hunsick on day one, seven to four, and then uh, coming back today and on the short end of a one nothing loss. It was seven uh, two yesterday. I'm sorry, seven two. I thought it was four. Um, one nil today and played a lot better. And rumor has it the women will be doing some hiking here uh, this weekend, get a little getaway, do some team bonding. Plenty of mountains around here where you can uh, partake in some nice climbs. And Jorge, no, you're not invited. <laughs> Matthew down with the ball. Tries to say that in the middle, but the defense got it. Goalkeeper, Indian goalkeeper with the ball. Nobody there, Jorge, as... Uh, Matthew was, like, just by himself. Yep. He's been trying, he's doing a good job. Uh, he's like everywhere running a lot of kilometers. I'm sorry, I'm in America, a lot of miles. Thank um, you, thank you. Uh, 
doing a good defensive job and uh, also helping in offense, saying that out, being the playmaker. Month in the box. Keep Still Willie. going. Willie. Willie. And he had... Uh, he almost walked out all the way in. Last second, the keeper came up. Kenna Brown with the ball. Playing with Kyle Robin. Back to Jamie Reed. Playing with Kenar. Brown, one of those special players that Jamie. can create his own offense. Matt. Dunn plays out to... Uh, Nobody there again, Jorge, as they seem to fizzle out here on the... It's going to be a corner kick. Oh, I'm sorry. That was deflected. Okay. Yeah. It was deflected by the Indians' defense. It's going to be a corner kick. We'll get a good look on a, on their set piece here as Coach Ashby gets it set up from the side. And the Bengals will look for that all-important insurance goal. Who's taking this? Is that Jamie this? Reed with Jamie. the pass. That's you, a goal. That's a go. goal. There you it go. Was Kyle Robin, I believe. Number 14 for Bengals. Scoring off the corner kick. Kyle Robin. Playing the win, perhaps. So the Bengals get the all-important insurance goal, giving them a two-goal cushion. We'll see if a Hunsik, uh, what they got left in their tanks now as we dip near 10 minutes. They need, they need two goals in 10 minutes to tie the game. But I don't think the Bengals are done either, Jorge, as they will continue to try and force Looking. the issue on the offensive third. Kennard Brown with the ball. He is a fun player to watch, Kennard Brown from Jamaica, man. Willie. Brown is the top returning scorer this season for the Bengals. Kennard sets it up. As he had a great freshman campaign. Jamie. Oh, <laughs> nice strike, Jamie Reed. Amazing strike. Trying to score, it went a little bit over goal. I can do that. We're sure you can. Scottish player playing the midfield. We have now um, three Scottish players in the team with uh, the returning player, Ross Downey, Ross Downey and um, the two Watch freshmen, vehicle. two freshmen, Jamie Reed and Kyle Robin, and we have a sub here. Um, Matias is coming to a game. Matias is going to give it a go here for ten minutes. Perhaps they are uh, watching his minutes here, but we'll get a look at the magician. Salsa Argentina, Matias Gandulfo, number three. Número tres. I gotta speak a little bit in Spanish Salta, for Matias family, you know. Salta, Argentina. Ooh. This one off the crossbar. And then control. Lucky there was not a, a Hunsik player in the vicinity. That one was rocketed off the crossbar. We did not get word on the, the official goal scorer yet, Jorge, but as you said, it was, uh, looked like it was who, Robin? Uh, I think it was Robin. Um, we don't know yet, uh, but it looked like it was um, Robin touching a little bit of uh, Jamie Reed's past. Scottish to Scottish. Scottish connection. Yes, sir, the Scottish connection. And here it is, Robin putting a little bit of pressure there. There we go. Four players from Scotland on the Bengal roster. Cleland. 
the before mentioned Ross Downey, Kyle Robin, and Jamie Reed. We had a player from Argentina, uh, one of the best players I've seen here. He's actually about Matthias ten Cousin. Year, about 10 years ago, Juan Murphy. He's actually Matthias Cousin, I believe. Jorge is not sure that uh, he knows what he's talking about, but maybe he does. All the same, Juan Murphy, uh, would love to hear from him. I've not seen him in a while, but hopefully he is doing well. Were you being serious, Jorge? No, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely serious. Um, okay. I've, Juan Murphy, I've developed a, a little friendship with, uh, with Matthias. I and understand. Speak the same okay, language. I apologize. So that is, that's great to know. I would like to uh, perhaps get Juan's uh, contact info from Matthias. But I don't... All the same here, the Bengals up to... A Hunsik forcing the issue. As they hit a crossbar here moments ago. Nice movement, number 20. Ahunstic College trying to find that uh, goal. Seven minutes left. The score is 4 2 for your UMFK Bengals. And um, we have a sub, uh, number 8, South, South, South African. Uh, midfielder Josh Kurensky is coming to a game for yes. Kenner Brown. The sophomore for Johannesburg from Johannesburg. Sprained his ankle real bad a uh, couple days before training camp opened and um, Josh now gonna test it here. It's nice to see him back in action. Actually told me he was on crutches uh, that week and then now back out there. Cleland will play. Nicely played there by Sutin. Jamie, I mean, um, Kyle Robin with the ball. Playing with Matias. Matias' strike was too soft. That's good to see, though. Matias getting a shot on goal. Get it. Number 11, Kevin Dion, the senior from St. André, Quebec, is the captain of this uh, year's team. Nice to hear him vocal, vocal, uh, vocal directions out there with his teammates. Great locker room guy, great leadership from him as he is enjoying his senior season here. Five minutes left. And the Dion family are bringing their camper as they traditionally have. If you get a shot at that out in the parking lot, but they come and support their boys here for the week, and uh, they're right in our parking lot. It's a great family, the Dion's. Jamie Reed. Philippe. The Montreal Wall. Yeah, you need to fall him to get the ball That's from him. That's not legal in Maine, as they call that, and... We'll play on. Justin. How big was that fourth goal, Jorge? As oh. time now starting to it run out. Change everything. Run out on the Indians. Nice touch by Josh. Matias gets tackled. The ref's going to call it. Plays quick to Josh Kurensky. Nice touch, Josh. He's going to cross it. Nowhere. And the goalkeeper's going to have it. Uh, Hutzik is a, a very solid side, and uh, I'm sure they will be very successful this season. Their coach telling me they've got uh, 12 new players. So this uh, these two matches have been very beneficial for them, I'm sure, as they get ready for their regular season. 
Hopefully they had a ploy, a ploy or two, and uh, a fry mix, Jorge, maybe a lobster while they were here. A lobster. Lobster. There's Month in your living room. And Kernsky will get a good look here. Nope. Dion will send him up. Kevin Dion will send him up, and he'll take this. Kev playing with uh, Kerensky up there to Willy. Nice ball there by Kerensky on to Month and Month. Kerensky, Kerensky seems to be moving very well, and oh no, as he gets he before mentioned ankle will really get tested here as he bounces bounces up. Jimmy Reed is going to take care of that free kick. Jimmy Reed's going to try and turn one into the net here again, I think, uh, Jorge, as he was a big part of that Robin goal. And it looks like Matias wants a part of this, and no, right on the keeper this time. Played nicely. Two minutes left. Two minute warning, folks. What a great week it's been here in Fort Kent as we complete the sixth contest in four days. And the men trying to get out of their preseason uh, without a defeat. And it looks good here. Two draws and uh, now trying to get their second win in as many days against the Hunsik. Three PM Eastern time here. Looks like we will not have to eat dinner here tonight, folks. What are you gonna cook tonight, Jorge? Some Spanish uh Spanish rice or I'm planning of some um, Spanish soup. Spanish soup, he says. With my friend David over here. One minute and counting as uh, it will tick away here, folks. And certainly has been our pleasure to have you with us today. Jorge will probably look to grab a bangle or two uh, for the post game. Brought to you by uh, Al's Tasty Freeze, where you can get your pizza and your fry mix. Take care, folks. I'm signing out. Jorge, I'll take you home. Thank you, Coach Eric Werten. I don't know if I said that right. 20 seconds left. The game is pretty much over. And, and we'll be ready for a post game here in um, Bengal Vision. It was definitely a good game for the Bengals. Played a decent game in the mid in the mid in the midfield. Um, Matt Dan once again leading the team um, and uh, making sure the offense is set up and organized as, as, as Coach Ashby wants him to do. Uh, good job in defense too. We got to score two goals, but um, I mean this is a good team. There's not much they could do. Uh, Yes. Great game once again. The Montreal Wall, Philippe Dion, Felipe Dion, <laughs> playing an amazing game again in defense. I know, I hear ya, I hear ya. <laughs> and the score is 4 2, like I just said. Um, four goals for a Bengal lineup were scored by. Um, Justin Soutian, Ben Clovers, two goals, and Kai Robin of the corner kick. Players shaking hands. Uh, like we said earlier, we'll be here uh, not tomorrow, but the day after for the first soccer game of the season.
waiting for the players to uh, come here and we'll hopefully interview uh, some of the main characters of the game. players are coming back, we're going to see if we can interview some of them. We're going to interview uh, some of the players. We're going to see if we can have Phil Dion with us. See if he hears us. Phil, Phil Dion and Justin Sutian. Here with us. Ça vient et toi? Oui, vous. Let's go. Phil Dion, the Montreal Wall. Um, what a game! Um, 
What's your feeling about after this game? Uh, it felt good. We improved throughout the four games, and um, yeah, everything was going well, and the team was working well together, and yeah, overall, we improved. <laughs> Justin Soutien here with us. You scored today. How did that feel? Uh, you know, it felt pretty good. Um, <laughs> it always feels good to score, right? <laughs> Justin Sutia is not used to a camera, he got to get used to it. Every time you score, I'm going to bring you here. So, um, well, thank you very much, guys. Um, how you see, um, how you see a team uh, ready for the first g season game? Yeah, yeah, we're going to be ready for sure. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Well, that was a good defensive job here, the Bengals. Thank you very much, guys. No I'll see you in a little bit because I'll go hang out with you. <laughs> and. Um, Thank you. Like I said, uh, we'll see you in a couple of days here for a first se season game uh, in Bengal Vision. I uh, hope you have a good day and uh, see you soon.